there's always something that bugged me about the Pokemon Venusaur. You know, the Pokemon Venusaur, final evolution of Bulbasaur. It's a gigantic looking Pokemon. It looks huge, it looks giant. You know, there's even clips like this. Yeah, clips like that, you know, that show it walking and it's stomping the ground and the ground shaking when it walks and, you know, there's loud booming noises when it walks. You think by, and even Misty says it's giant in that clip. So you would think by that, and just by looking at Venusaur, that it's huge, that it's gigantic, that it must weigh a ton. You know, it must weigh just as much or almost as much as Snorlax, right? Err, wrong, wrong, nope. Venusaur, you want to know how much Venusaur weighs? 220.5 pounds. That's it. That's all. Venusaur weighs just as much as a slightly over obese person. And that's it, you know. I spent all my life thinking that Venusaur was huge, it was gigantic, it must weigh a ton, you know, it must be, it must weigh almost as much as Snorlax, you know, with all the clips I, you see of, I saw of, you know, Venusaur just stomping around, shaking the earth, and, you know, just by looking at Venusaur as well, it looks huge, it looks gigantic, but, nope. It only weighs that much. Venusaur is big boned at best. <laughs> you know. And that's it. And I was like, what? All this time? How's that even possible? I thought Venusaur was huge. I thought this was this giant creature. It stomped around, shook the earth when it walked, you know, and was this huge fucking creature, Pokemon. But nope. Venusaur is just, you know, chubby. It's just big boned, <laughs> you know, and that's it. It doesn't make any sense, honestly. And it's always bothered me. But, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs>